Welcome back to the channel. I've got another Xbox Series S. The listing on this one said that there's uh, that the disk drive does not eject and it's broken. Um, this one is in fairly good condition. It needs to be cleaned up. It's got sticker residue all over it. It doesn't look like it's been opened. It's got that sticker there, but um, you can easily take the bottom off and keep that sticker on there anyway. So that's I won't uh, I won't know for sure if it's been opened until I open it up and look inside. But it does look pretty clean. We'll um, we'll plug it in, see if it powers on, and then uh oh, I hear something rattling around in there. We'll open it up, or we'll power it on and see what happens. And then we'll open it up and see if it actually uh, if there's something we can fix. All right, here we go. HDMI power. I'm going to switch my inputs here. And here we go. Power's on. The light stays on. All right. Looks like it's powering up. Preparing console. I wonder if the disk drive's been changed in this. And, um,. It doesn't get through updating because it's not the original disk drive. It wouldn't be the first time I've bought an Xbox where somebody swapped the disk drive out and claimed they hadn't touched it. But um, it's pretty easy to tell once you get the error. Um, and it won't update. It is what it is. Let me see if I can find a controller. Alright, I got a controller. Let's see if the sync button works. It does. Sync this controller. All right, we're able to sync. Let's get this. All right. Well, here's what we'll find out. We're going to do an update here. Where's uh, when it gets to step three, we'll know for sure if the hardware belongs to this to this console. Um, so I'll let this happen, and we'll come back after this. Okay, we're back. Looks like we're able to update. There's a game in here. And... <laughs> oh! I see. The disk drive does work. And there's a game in there. Madden 20. A few years old, but... Button does work. I wonder if uh, it just needed to be updated, but let's let's put the disc in there. It's super loud. But seems to have been working. Let's check it out again, see if it the game loads. I don't think the game is loading. Alright. Alright, eject this again. Something's wrong with the disk drive. It wasn't spinning, the game wasn't spinning, so. The disk wasn't spinning, so. I think we'll pull it out. We'll open up the disk drive. And maybe we'll take a look at it and see if there's anything we can do about it before um, actually replacing it. When I do replace it, if I have to replace it, um, I'll pull off the motherboard on it and put it onto an, another disk drive. So that way our motherboard stays with the, uh, the the disc motherboard stays with the motherboard on the Xbox here because they're married, uh, they're partnered together. At any rate, the, uh, let's open it up, take this drive out, and see what we got. All right, let's get this thing opened and uh, get the disc drive out. Oh. Oh, great. Oh, no. Another bug infested Xbox. Oh, this one had a lot of them, too. I sure hope they're all dead. 
Look at that. Those are roaches. Dead roaches. Lovely. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with here. A roach infested Xbox. All right, well, uh, I'm surprised it actually powers on. Usually when they're like this, they've hit the power supply by now or shorted themselves on something else and the thing doesn't power on. But um, maybe that's what's inside of this, uh, the disk drive. Maybe there's some roach guts in there, or some roach gut in there somewhere and mess with the gears or, or something and maybe cleaning it out will do the trick. I don't know, but um, let's get this cleaned out, I guess. Well, I guess I'll finish taking this top case off, which would be these green screws here. Then we'll uh, open it up and hopefully they're all dead. Lovely. A little dusty, but not bad. We know it works, that's the good thing. All right, so, there's nothing crawling on my desk, so, on my de table, so that's good. It's a mess, so there's that. So I guess the next step here is going to be to clean this all up before we even get to this. I'm still going to open this up, see if we have any bugs inside of here. And if not, I think what I'll do is just, uh, we'll end up swapping this out with a known good drive. And I think what I'll do is I'll do a little experiment and I will just swap the drive out without taking the motherboard out just to see what happens and then I'll put the other one back in with the, the original and then we'll pull the motherboards out but we'll see we'll see what happens when we swap them around I should be able to do that we'll see the disk drive itself is the same same connectors see that the uh, these little front knobs are the different this comes from an Xbox Series X obviously this is an Xbox uh, an Xbox one s this little front little deals are different but I think this bracket comes off I don't know anyway uh, I'm gonna clean this all up let me do that all right we're all cleaned up here um, I actually threw this in the dishwasher. It's not bad, but this is really clean right here. I like this. The inside, I think this is stained pretty much. Um, I'm not going to do any more, much more to this. It is what it is, but there's no more bugs in here. That's the main, the main thing. And this is nice and clean. I've also, here's the bottom here. Also nice and clean. No more bugs, no more bug residue. Um, it was it was pretty bad. So this is good. I will set this to the side for a second here. Here is our inside case, which is which wasn't that bad to begin with, but um, it's perfectly clean now. There's still some sticker residue on here, and I'll, I'll take that off um, when I put it back together. And then the top, also clean. All right, so the... And, oh... Can't forget the, the motherboard, which I've cleaned off as well. Nice and clean. All right, so what I'll do here, I've got two drives here. We've determined that this old drive here is, um, something's wrong with it. The disc was its thing inside of it. 
I'm going to open this up, take a look on the inside of it. And, um, but just as an experiment, I'm going to put a, another disc drive on here that doesn't belong with this Xbox. It actually belongs with an Xbox, uh, an Xbox series X that, um, that I failed to repair. Just so, so it's a parts, a parts system. Um, I'm just going to put this right in here without swapping anything out. I'm just going to swap the disc drive and, um, just to see what happens. But another thing I did here in my cleaning was I, um, the button wasn't, the eject button wasn't working here. And, um, when I took this off, I noticed that the button just felt, it still felt sticky. I thought maybe it was something mechanical, maybe on the, um, the front of the case, the actual plastic button that you push wasn't working, but I noticed that the actual button on the board itself, which is right here, was kind of sticky. So I kind of flushed it out with some uh, some IPA, and um, it seemed to, to unstick it a little bit more. Then I, I, I actually flushed it out again with some uh, BW100 contact cleaner, and it's working a lot better. It actually sounds clicky now. You know, it actually clicks when it when you press it. Uh, same with the other button there. So that may have that may have been the issue as well with the eject part. That doesn't help us with the the, uh, the drive spinning or not spinning when you insert the drive or the DVD in there or the game in there. So the that's still an issue. But uh, at any rate, let's get this thing put back together and continue on. All right, we're going back together. This, again, this is not the right disk drive. This comes from another Xbox completely. I didn't remove any part of the, the, the board from this drive. I'm just gonna plug it in. Let's see what happens. All right, we got power. HDMI power. I don't remember if I have that controller connected to it or not, but let's go ahead and power it on. All right, it's powering on. The light stays on. Fan is spinning. Okay. Remote is synced. Signing in. So, so far so good. It turns on. Let's put a disc in and see what happens. Accepts the disc. Ah, there it is. There's a problem with the disc drive. Request a repair. So it doesn't work. There's a problem with the disc drive. All right. It won't play a disc. I can still play the Xbox, but it won't play a disc is what it's telling me. Let's, how about the eject button? That works just fine. So the eject button works. The disk drive does not work. It tells me to go to xbox.com slash repair. So let's power this off. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pull the motherboard out of the other disk drive and put it in here. I know for sure the other disk drive had some issues because it it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't start the disk after I put it in, and it made a lot loud noise. So that's what we'll do. I'm gonna keep everything else else in here. I'm only gonna pull this disk drive out. All right, I've got the two drives here. I'm gonna open these up and um, we'll see what's inside. Should be a pretty easy swap here. Here's my old one. Here's my new one. 
And look at this. Here's a bug carcass inside this thing. That's gross, right? Okay. <laughs> That's probably the, re the reason this thing doesn't work anymore. Um, well, it may have got, got something to do with the mechanicals, but I'm going to pull the actual, this motherboard out. The only soldering I need to do is these two here. This is just power. Um, and this easy, it comes off pretty easily here. And uh, then the, the ribbon cables. It looks like there's three ribbon cables. And I can't remember if there's, yeah, there's a couple screws in here, two or three screws in here that need to come out. So let's do that next. Look, it's just those three screws there. Flipping up the little tabs on these ribbon cables here. And I'm gonna pull out the board, just like that. Took us to my soldering iron and desolder those two cables right here. I'll add just a little bit of flux. Not really needed, but it's okay. My soldering iron pretty much stays at 380 degrees all times. And I'll just touch this and pull that off just like that. I'm gonna do the same with the other one. Just like that. All done. Now I'll pull this board out, and that's all we need. Uh, that doesn't look very good. Let's look at that part under the microscope. Looking at this piece here, oh, actually it's not bad. Looks better under the microscope. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 maybe not. It's pretty loose there. Supposed to be like that? Oh yeah. Okay. That bad, I guess. All right. This is the this is the board we need. I'm gonna set that one to the side. And now. We'll do the same thing with this other one. Okay. Same thing. I wonder if this part can be swapped over. Doesn't look like they look like they're different sizes. These um, oh maybe. I'm looking at this part here and this part here. They have the same three tabs there. I wonder if those can be swapped out. I'm willing to bet they can be. This might need to go with the mechanicals underneath. On the, uh, cause I'm gonna put this onto the new drive, this one here, and this might go with the old drive, might fit better with the old drive. So this might fit better with that new drive that'll be over here now. So maybe it's worth pulling this off 
see if it works the same. See if it works the same. You know what? Why not? Let's just do it. See what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. The real question is how. It looks like we're we're just uh, soldered from the top here. Doesn't go through at all. I could possibly heat this up from the bottom, or I can just desolder it from the top. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna get a board holder here and. I'll do the old one first. Oh, this is actually the board I want to keep, so I'll do the new one first. Alright, I'm going to change my tip here. Something a little pointier. Maybe. I think I'll put some flux on here. Grab something to poke this with. Maybe this. that there. There we go. Lifted. This side here. That lift. Yep. Alright. Run this around. Do I go the other way? loose. I wonder if it's glued down. Well, I pulled it off. Not bad. I ripped the pads, but that's okay. I'll just try not to do that in the next one. that a success. Okay, let's get the other one off. I think I'll do this a little bit differently. I'll do what I should have done the last time. 
I will add a little bit of flux here. A little bit here. A little here and here. I don't want to rip the pads on this one. This time, I'm going to use a little braid, solder braid here, and I'm going to try to wick up some of the, uh, a little bit of the flux that's already there, or I mean a little bit of the, the solder that's there, just to see if I can make this a little bit easier on myself. That's good. Here as well. Okay, hopefully I didn't tear that pad up right there. It looks like it's just a ground pad, but I don't know. Who knows? Let's try this back one here. It's good. And this one here, and that's good. Alright. Both of those pads are gone. They're both attached to the board still. Okay. All right, well that's off. Let's clean this up. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, I'm gonna put my multimeter on here. We'll check for continuity. I'm in beep mode here. And you may not be able to hear this, but uh, I will. I'm only checking for continuity here. And these two, this is continuous here. These two are not. But I have nothing here to check. Well, that's interesting. But these two are continuous. I would assume that these two were as well at one point. Just because of this line right here. And this line here, and I see that's going to here. Actually, maybe not. Well, it could be. So this is probably ground. If this was ground, this is not. See that there, it's solid all the way around. Interesting. I wonder if this and this is ground. No, no, no. Oh no, this goes across to here. Okay. Following the traces here. Goes here. This here. To here. That's ground. This is ground side. This side is not. Let me look at my other board as well. Here. Obviously it's not cleaned, but... Like we had sort of the same deal here and see this trace here which is torn but it goes directly to here this comes off and goes to here so let's do continuity from here to here and see if that's the same let's check that here to no we do not have continuity from those two these two? Nope. I'm not getting any beeps here. These two are beeping together. But this... Oh, it would be continuity because there's nothing there. I wouldn't be able to get a beep there. But it's not continuous at this side, so that's good. That's good to know. But was it here at one point? I'm, I'm guessing it was. Or maybe it's just an anchor. Maybe it's just an anchor point. Possibility as well.
This here is definitely a ground on this side. This side is not a ground. This side is a ground. Both of these are grounds here. This one is not. Can go through either. All right, I'm going with that as being a an anchor point and not a ground. That's what I'm going to go with. Because that's uh, ground, that leaves me with the opportunity to use my grinding pen and actually put something here to anchor this side down with. Here we go again. working let's clean this up a bit all right that's that seems to work still whatever this thing does I'm guessing we um, add power to it 
and it retracts this. And then we take power away and it pops back out. That's what I'm guessing. Hopefully it still works. So I've mangled it up a little bit here. Or I mean, um, changed boards with this one here. Um, I think I'm gonna put some glue here and just glue this side down here. Just to make sure uh, this side stays secure since um, we do not have anything anchoring this side down and this is a mechanical part. It has some movement. We're not worried about any of that IPA we see there splashing around. That should uh, that should evaporate. All right. I'm gonna hit this with a cloth real quick and sort of dry some of that up a little bit or sop some of that up, just so I can put my super glue in here. Should be enough there. All right, let's put this back in the uh, in the disk drive case. We'll resolder the wires, the power wires, and uh, we'll see if it works. All right, so we've gone from this one over to this one here. That's right in. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it in. Then we'll take it to the, uh, back over to the microscope and we'll get those wires, power wire starter back in and we will go ahead and install it. See how it goes. All right, there we go. These are changed. Now, there is a difference between these two other than the uh, motherboard is they're different models. This is a DG65S03B. This is a DG6MS6M5S01B. So they're different models, but as you saw, the motherboards were pretty much the same. So I've swapped the motherboards out. The ribbon cables fit exactly the same. And we're gonna put this into the Xbox, into our back into the old Xbox and see if it works. So again, we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna put it into our original Xbox Series S. And we're gonna see if it works. Go. Power. Switch in. And here we go. Fan is spinning. It's a good sign, I guess. We didn't mess with anything else. We didn't take anything out else out. We only the drive. The physical drive and the motherboard from the other drive. Okay, signed in again. Let's see if it works.
Okay. Spinning. Sounds like it's reading the drive. And it is. There it is. And there it is. It's installing. The, it's installing. Installation started. So that worked. Let's see if it ejects. It does. Nice. That still worked. One more time. Sweet. Spinning again. All right. So, an Xbox Series X disk drive will work in an Xbox One S as long as we swap over the motherboard from both drives. And it's installing. It wants to install. I'm not going to install it. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to eject it again. And there we go. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to shut this thing down put, and button it back up and we'll see what it looks like when it's put together. That's it. Looks really good. I'll use some uh, hot air and peel off some of these the sticker residue buttons all work well, if you can hear that but they all have a, a good clicky sound which is good some minor scuffs but um, I think I can take some of those out anyway it looks really good I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in so just to recap what we've done so far we've pulled uh, the faulty disk drive out of this and we've replaced it with an Xbox Series X disk drive. Um, the only thing we had to do, and we double checked, we put the disk drive without doing it and then we put it in again with replacing the the motherboard inside the disk drive itself. This is the one that came with the Xbox Series X disk drive. And the one that was was faulty, I replaced and put it into this disk drive. So we basically just swapped these over. Um, these are uh, married to the Xbox they come with. So you can't just swap the disk drive out without replacing this as well. We also replaced uh, this little, I don't know if you can see that there. This little piece here goes, uh, it goes about right here somewhere right here somewhere. Anyway, that's um, it's just a little mechanical lever of some sort. Uh, this looks real beat up here. Um, and the other one just looked better. The one that was actually on this looks better. So I put it on the old, the old motherboard for the disk drive and it seems to work, but we're gonna double check it here. I've got the disk here that actually came inside this Xbox. I'm going to put it back in and I'm going to install it. So it accepts the disc just fine, which is great. I can hear it spinning. It's great. That's, a, that's better than what it was. And it's installing. That's good news. I'm going to go ahead and let this thing install. Um, and I'll play it for a little bit. Make sure everything's all good. But that's gonna be it. I think we fixed this thing. Um, I'll put it back on the, I'll relist it, see if I can get it in somebody else's house. Um, but it looks good. Uh, again, we've replaced the drive, I've cleaned it up, I put the case, um, the top and bottom, and even the internal, the internal case in the dishwasher after I got all the bugs out of it. Um, there was a lot of bugs in it. I, I scrubbed the motherboard and um, replace the disk drive, and that's it. 
looks looks fine. Looks fine to me. Seems to be working just fine. So, thanks for coming along for this one. Uh, it was took me a, like three days to film this for something so easy. I don't know. I do have another um, PS5 that I'm working on that I, I just I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, it's broke. No power or a blue light of death is what I've got so far, and it's like a brand new, brand new uh, PS5, brand new vert model. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace.